and welcome everyone. Thanks for joining us today. Um, this will be our annual uh, meeting for HCAM uh, on November 1st, so I'd like to call the meeting to order, if I may. So moved. So moved. Um, so to talk about new business, uh, we have two main items for new business this evening to discuss. Um, the first one, if we could start with, would be um, we have a position up for vote. Um, Tom Ding's position is currently up. Uh, to vote, which is uh, obviously a position that's open to any of the HCAM uh, community. Uh, the other positions, one is filled by uh, a recommendation through the superintendent, uh, and another position comes from um, the town uh, board of selectmen. So if we could start with that first piece of business, um, I'd hear from anyone that's interested in... Uh, I would like to nominate Tom Dings to uh, remain in the position. Okay, there's a nomination to uh, maintain Tom Diggs in the position. Is there a second? Second. There's a second. Anyone else? Or discussion okay. closed? Or? Discussion mm -hmm. closed? Okay. Then we'll vote. So, well, all of those in favor of uh, having Tom Diggs remain in the position, uh, please say aye. 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 That's a uh, four to. Well, that carries, I believe. Yep. <laughs> Unanimously. Yeah, okay, Thank carries, you, everyone. Yeah. Makes it easy. Uh, the next order of business is to approve the minutes um, from July 27th of 2016. And within those minutes, uh, there was an approval from the minutes uh, that were taken on April 6, 2016. Is there a second? Second. There's a second. All those in favor of approving the minutes from July 27, 2016? Aye. Aye. And does anyone else have new business that is not on the agenda that it, they'd like to bring up this evening's meeting? No. no. Okay. So at this point, I'm going to turn it over uh, to Jim Cousins, I believe, to... Okay take on the next section of the meeting. All right, thank you. So that was uh, a deep dive into the uh, nonprofit board of HCAM. So they're all volunteers, and Chuck Joseph is the fifth member who was actually at another meeting, and we're hoping he's gonna get here soon. Um, but they meet four times a year, and they basically just oversee the station to make sure that I don't run it into the ground um, or anything like that. And they, you know, we, we set the goals and the priorities for the for the studio. Um, so at the end of at the end of our little presentation here, we will have um, uh, an opportunity for you to ask questions or make any comments. If you know, just something you'd like to say. Um, to the board or let the board know that you can always do it at any time of course they're very accessible you can email them or um, come to one of the other board meetings but uh, this is also an opportunity if you'd like to all right so now for the rest of the meeting um, we're going to hear from um, four people the first part is going to be um, what I call short reports because they are short so we'll be hearing from Mike and Courtney and Tom, each on a different aspect of what's happening at HCAM. And then I will come back and I will give a not as short review uh, of some other things that are going on. Hopefully it'll be very riveting so that it, it will seem like it's very short. It's going to fly by. And then um, at the last um, annual meeting last year, we started recognizing some of our crew members um, uh, with a couple of awards, and I'll be talking about that too. And then I disperse you to a couple of different stations around here, and we'll be done um, by 8 o'clock. Easy. All right. So um, if you don't know, I expect everybody does, but Mike Terosian is my production coordinator, and he's going to come up and uh, give you his short report on production. Thanks, hey, Jim. Hello, everyone. Welcome. Thank you. Oh, the snaps. I like that. That's so artsy. That's wonderful. Real short report. All I have to do is talk about the wonderful productions that I see just about everyone here. Last year, from the last meeting to now, we had 332 crude productions. Wow. That's everybody. 332. <laughs> That's you guys. With that, out of that 344 active volunteers throughout the year, 44 of you at those 32. And 
My favorite number, and I'm going to go with the whole thing, Jim. Okay. 536 hours, 43 minutes, 23 seconds, and I think 14 frames <laughs> of programming last year. Very nice. That's all first run programming, which on an average is 45 or 44. 44.7. 44.7 hours a month of new programming. So that's it. That's all I got. I got the shortest one. Next up, Courtney. Hello everyone. So with all of that, we've actually been getting some great feedback from the community, both unsolicited and from a television, a telephone survey, excuse me, that we've been conducting. So first I'd just like to read a few of the comments that we've gotten from the public. We've gotten comments like, great basketball game tonight, HCAM does a great job with taping it, or I applaud you for all the great moments you capture and post on HCAM. And another one that we've gotten was myself and my family really enjoy the HCAM programming. Again, this is only just a small sample of the unsolicited feedback we've been getting. So from the phone survey that we conducted, I ended up calling 100 random numbers in town. And some of the comments that we've gotten from that for feedback were that people are glad that HCAM is here. Um, they think HCAM is great. They hope people are watching us. Um, that it's great that we're doing the survey and finding out what the community wants. So on top of that, another thing that we asked during that survey was, well, what does the community want? So some of the things that were listed were more shows produced by kids, such as what we have for HMS TV and HHS TV, um, more craft shows, anything that has to do with history, perhaps more from other districts, coverage of natural environments around Hopkinton, and more local sports. Again, that's just a small sample of what was given, but you know, it's definitely a great start, something we can definitely work on. And that's it, so now I'm gonna turn it over to Tom. All right, thanks everyone for coming. Uh, I'm here to talk a little bit about the social media, which has uh, been growing throughout the last year. Our uh, Facebook has grown substantially at this time last year. Uh, since this time last year, we have 160 new likes. We had 2018 <coughs> at this time last year. Now we have 2,178. Um, our photos and videos have reached 700 plus impressions compared to uh, links and statuses which reach about 200 and uh, we've been sharing a lot more photos and videos uh, which are getting more and more impressions our twitter is averaging 11 new followers per month and our tweets get 20 an average of 26 uh, or throughout the year have gotten 26,780 impressions per month. So uh, pretty impressive and it continues to grow uh, just about every single month. Uh, this month alone, 29,500 and it's been right around that area for the most part, but it's grown since August, which in August it was only 19,600. So 10,000 more impressions here in October. Our YouTube page has over 185,000 views and we're averaging four new subscribers per month. And our YouTube page has grown significantly since we've uh, started putting all our videos there throughout the last year or so. And people are actually turning to YouTube quite a bit first to see what uh, new programming we have up there. So that's certainly pretty interesting as well. But that's all I got, and again, thanks for coming. All right, so that's always a tough one for me because uh, we track all kinds of stuff. <laughs> and um, I, you know, I really feel like um, things can glaze over when we do too much of that. But, uh, but I do want to get across, like, for example, um, Facebook, we are getting more than one new follower every other day. That's, that's how it's growing. And YouTube, 78,000 views of our shows in the last 12 months. So we're seeing a lot 
uh, of growth in that area. And we really like to gather that because the one thing that everybody ever tells me once they do a show is, how many people are watching it? How do we know? And we don't have the Nielsen rating, so we can't tell you, oh, you know, this many people tuned in to uh, HKM TV or HKM Ed on Comcast or Verizon. So we try to like gather as much as we can. But the best, the best way to figure out is to um, be on a show and see if people actually tell you that they've seen you on TV. I remember a few years ago, I was speaking in front of uh, a Chamber of Commerce event, and I was saying that, and I said, all right, so am I gonna, am I gonna do it? And I said, I am gonna do it. And I said, Jeff Doherty is sitting right there in the front row, and he's actually been on one of our shows. So Jeff, have people said they stopped you and, and said they saw you on TV? And he said, yes, they did. So it really does work. Um, and physician focus, as you know, goes everywhere. And uh, the doctors, wherever they come from, are always saying their patients are telling them they've seen them on TV. So people do watch Access. It's a, it's a great, it's a great uh, opportunity in town. All right. Oh, and by the way, uh, Mike was noticing this too. If you, if you noticed, you might have recognized Courtney's voice when she said, hello, everyone, because she says it every week when she does the HCAM Insider. So it's on our website, um, and you can, check, you can check and see. All right, so now we're into my update. And the first thing I'd like to report happily is that at least 98% of all of our major upgrades are now in the rear view mirror. We're HD everywhere. All the new equipment is already in place uh, at the town hall, at the middle school, which then moved over to the high school, um, everything here in the studio. Um, a lot of the bugs that we're going to encounter, we've already encountered and you know, uh, figured it out. Our master control is now HD, so we can record anywhere on the on the fiber eye net here at the studio um, as well as send it out live. So that actually has been uh, uh, quite a chore over the last year or so. So we're really happy that now we're going to be able to turn our attention uh, to what our next major focus is going to be. Um, Mike had mentioned the number 44 original hours a month of production. Uh, that encompasses all of our shows, all of our meetings, all of our sports games, and it's a number that I'm really happy with. We had been at uh, roughly 40 hours a month um, for the past couple of years, and we've really, uh, we've kicked it up a notch, and uh, I'm, I'm really happy that that number has grown to that because that is what we're all about. And in fact, this past year, at the end of the summer, beginning of fall, Mike and I sit down and we talk about our production slate. What's you know like what new shows should we be targeting um, and things like that. And this year, I had never seen this before, but we actually had ten new series up on our production slate. And some of those series um, you actually have seen. Uh, Margie Wigan, who's in the studio, um, has got her new show and is running Mike ragged because she has more energy than everybody in this room and um, it's really great. We're also doing highlights from the hill uh, with superintendent uh, Dr. McLeod and uh, that's been going good too. So we, got, we have a couple more in production that we're kind of like moving through the pipeline. Um, so we've been pretty happy with that. That's been a, that's been a great number. Uh, next we are um, we have had a presence in the middle school and over the past year or so have added a growing presence in the high school and um, that's been a focus of me uh, through the board uh, directing me that they'd like to see that grow and I'm uh, really really happy about that and if you haven't seen any of that stuff yet you should go see it um, on our website if you go to programs there's a, a link for HHS TV and one for HMS TV both schools do a morning announcement show. The middle school does it every single week. The high school targets every other week. And we've been getting a lot of good feedback and a lot of connection from other groups within the school uh, approaching us saying, oh, we'd like to be on your show. We'd like to create a regular segment. So um, that's actually been a lot of fun. And um, this year, Mike and I actually, we were able to join the team. So, um, 
that's been really good. You know, we're not actually signing in anymore. We have we have an official status with the schools. I walk through the school like in Wayne's World with a backstage pass. <laughs> look at me. Yeah, I always go up to uh, Lori in the office. I'm like, I'm on official business. <laughs> so that's been great, and um, there's just a lot of energy there. And in fact, some of the guys from HHS TV are here too. So uh, thanks for that for coming tonight. Uh, what else? All right, so Courtney mentioned the survey, and uh, people said a lot of interesting things, a lot of cool things. Um, and in fact, after this, one of the stations, you can see a lot more of uh, what, they're, what they're telling us. So, but the number that I want to share with you is that, uh, oh, Courtney mentioned she calls 100 numbers in Hopkinton, which isn't exactly accurate. It's got to be at least 175 or 200 numbers because a lot of people will say I'm too busy I don't have time so Courtney calls until she gets a hundred people responding so these are a hundred Hopkintonians who are answering the questions and of that hundred um, 55 percent watch HCAM and that is a number that to be quite honest with you I would like to see growing um, and our, my staff have talked about this, and one of the areas that we're, I think we're really good at is school-related stuff. There are so many games that go on. In fact, sometimes I joke that Tom's really not a news director. He's the sports director uh, <laughs> wannabe. Um, and graduations and plays and concerts, and we're doing more stuff in the classrooms and stuff, and it's really great. Um, at the same time, a, a number sticks in my mind that Chuck Joseph, who's a real estate agent in town, uh, gave us. And that is, of the houses in Hopkinton that send children to the schools, what percentage is that? It's 25. So there are 75% uh, of households that aren't sending kids to the schools. So the major focus for 2017 is really going to be promotion and outreach um, to that other thing and in fact you know if you think of anything that you think would be good that we should be covering or doing you know I am all ears because that's what we're really gonna be working on when I was talking to Chuck getting him up to speed um, on tonight's meeting he was just like you know one of the things I always hear people are saying they would like to know what's gonna happen at town meeting you know, the, it, the warrant is so long and there's so many things and, and some of them um, can be pretty cut and dry, but other, others of them can be, you know, pretty important and, and uh, complex. So wouldn't it be nice if there was a series, you know, going up to town meeting where we covered things and we explained things like that. He says that in his job as a real estate agent, he gets that a lot. So I thought that was a great idea, and I wrote it down as we were talking. So, um, so I just wanted to put that out there because that's what we're going to be thinking about. And if you, in your daily travels, say, Ooh, wouldn't that be cool? My wife always says, you know, if I talk to any person long enough, I will eventually say the words, you should have a TV show. <laughs> and, you know, I typically do. I'm still waiting for yours, Greg. Um, so, so, so if you think of anything, you know my email address. Uh, just let me know because that's what we're that's what we're looking at. All right. So the other number, one of the numbers that we track, the um, every year we you know we look back and we look at the at the website hits as well as uh, the Facebook likes and uh, the Twitter fans or whatever whatever they're called. Um, this was actually the first year that the number of visits. So the website has gone down. Every other year it's gone up. And this year it went down. And so we were like, wow, what the heck happened there? So then when we kind of put it in context with, you know, a, um, with a lot of things that are happening on Facebook, people are getting our content there. So for example, Mike and Tom were showing me this because I am not uh, like a Facebook aficionado. But there's a way that you can post a picture on Facebook. And if you post it through Facebook, rather than just a link that goes to the website, ra you, know, you, see, you see hundreds or thousands of views versus like 50, you know? So we recognize that by opening up our avenues to try to reach everybody where they are, you know, some of them are, are leveling out. 
although we did pass the um, three million, three millionth page view this year. So, so that was good. Um, and with the, the YouTube streams and, uh, oh, the CNN Hopkinton website, Mike is always out there like a maniac taking pictures at all the events. Sometimes I think he should be an event photographer uh, rather than a videographer. But there have been over 19,000 visitors to CNN Hopkinton. And just today, somebody was like, you know, uh, thanking Mike profusely because he was there at the Halloween thing and he was there at the Center School um, Harvest Walk and so you know people just like they like that stuff so so we are growing and I think things are balancing out okay and I think that is all of all of my content so we're gonna get ready to move on to the next part of the meeting we're doing great for time. Um, before we do that, really quickly, did anybody have any questions on anything that was said that they'd like explained or uh, any kind of comment like that? Yes, Andy. With um, the scene on Hopkinton stuff, especially one of the things that actually my father and I have been talking about a lot with that, the nice thing about that is a lot of other websites that would cover that, I'm not gonna name any names, but other websites that would cover that, they take time to go through and find the pictures that they think are the best. Yeah. And so maybe five days later it gets posted. Yeah. Whereas all the scene on Hawkinson, so I'm talking about big events, graduation, prom, and stuff like that. Yeah. The scene in Hawkinson website might just post everything on there. Right. So and it's yesterday's up. Halloween was like that. Exactly. Yeah. So it's right. You know, it's up by the next day, if not sooner than that. So I think that's one of the big advantages. To that. Trying to get every kid. That's my deal. Yeah. All right. <laughs> and no watermarks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no watermarks, yeah. So, are you kidding me? Mike, did you put him up to that? <laughs> For that comment? Because Mike and I keep going around. Because, like, Mike will go, and he'll take 500 pictures, and he'll put 450 on the website. And I'm like, Mike, number two and number three are exactly alike. You know, one kid is like this, and then you're like that. And he's like, well, you know, maybe they look better in one than the other. And I'm like, I'm like okay. So, we always, that's like the tension between throwing them up there and getting them up there so fast or curating them a little bit. I do so, a Yeah, so, all right. But, Andy, but thank you, Andy. Andy. That gift card will be in <laughs> 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 All right. Okay. The next part of our evening is going to be the, um, the annual meeting award show. the 2016 HCAM TV Award Show. And now, presenting your host, Jim Cousins. Thank you, thank you. All right, thank you. Thank you for joining our Paris show. As president of the board, he gets the honor of handing them out. Oh, here's my pencil. All right, so, we have two categories of award here at HCAM. One of them is the producer of the year. And I mentioned this last year, we as a, as a team settled on that name because it's just like a really cool name, you know, producer <laughs> of the year. Um, when I was a volunteer at HCAM, I got an award like that. And we used to call people producers. Um, and we don't do that anymore because it gets confusing with, well, I'm producing a show or I'm actually running a camera on this show, so why am I a producer? So we started calling producer crew. So when you go through the workshops and you're helping make TV shows, you are crew, you're crew members. And that's why our t-shirts say um, television crew on the back. So, but we like um, producer of the year because it harkens back to a, an older, more simpler time. Um, where everybody was a producer, and it's a great title. So we don't have categories such as the producer of the year who worked on the most productions, or the producer of the year who bled the most. Um, <laughs> we, don't, we don't do that. We like to recognize people for things that they have done um, over the past year. And sometimes, you know, it is um, something unique they may have stepped up and done one thing. They may have 
rebuilt one of our pieces of equipment with me and it was like a really big job and it was really really good for the station uh, or it could be that they you know like stood out in the rain for um, you know a certain number of games and always had a smile on their face after they did it things like that so um, so that's the first one producer of the year and we may give out one we may give out two we may give out three last year was our first year so we had kind of a built up the man and we gave out a few. Um, and then the second award is the Michael J. Prate Award. And Michael J. Prate was, until last year, the president of the board. When HCAM was first formed, he was on the original five-member board and he was voted as the president of that board and he stayed that way for his entire tenure, which was like 10 years. 10 or 11 years. And he just, uh, re, uh, well, his wife, I think, is retiring, and they, they moved to the Cape. So Mike actually loves us enough that he considered staying on the board and driving up for the board meetings. But he knew that just, you know, was not the right answer. He just, like, it's just really hard for him to give up HCAM. And so he, always, in addition to being the president of the board, he was really into sports and he did lots of announcing. And so um, we created this award to recognize an individual who has spent a lot of time and dedication um, over a long period to, uh, to HCAM TV. So that, that award will be coming later. All right, so, um, so the first one, the first producer of the year, uh, this goes to the um, to a couple people who are working on a show which actually has a, a really unique place because it is very, very community minded. Of course, everything we do is Hopkinton oriented. And I always say people don't watch us because we look like Channel 5. They watch us because we are Hopkinton. And so... Um, a lot of times, you know, we do shows that are interesting to our community. We hope all of them are to some extent to in certain people. But this show has, um, has an appeal, which is really something that we haven't had um, before. It was, it's a very conversational show. And um, they do a lot of work on the show outside of the show, um, promoting it on um, like Facebook and engaging with the community uh, and so so I really like that that has really kind of been great it's a show that whenever I introduce it I always say you know this is the view this is Hopkinton's the view so the first producer of the year award goes to the host of Hopkinton coffee break come on up darling <laughs> right over there. award uh, goes to a show that has been around for a long time and in fact this month ironically they have produced their 150th episode and it's a show that um, we actually have an executive producer for so you know you know what a director does call, calls all the shots all the crew members and then you would have a producer who arranges everything with their production and an executive producer is a person who arranges all the content for the show. What are they going to talk about? Who are the guests? What time are they arriving? Does everybody know what to do? Does everybody know when to get here? That type of stuff. And um, it, this show originally started uh, by a person in town approaching me and saying, hey, Jim, you know, we should do this show. And it was at least 10 years ago and ever since then he has never lost his passion for doing that show um, and so we're really proud we're really proud of them um, for the work that they do and this this award is going to um, 
Bruce Carlin and Rick Gala for Physicians Focus. And accepting now, now Bruce is in Florida um, at a wedding, so I can't hold that against him. And Rick is at home with his wife who broke her foot, so I can't hold that against him. So accepting the award on their behalf is the regular director of the show, John Ritz. I'll, I'll just take him up there. All right. Um, I'm going to uh, take the next one out of order for a reason which I hope will become clear by the time the show is over. I'm going to go to the Michael J. Prate Award now. And the, um, the Michael J. Prate Award uh, is really meaningful to me because, as I had said last year when we first introduced it, Mike Prate was the only person who had been working, he was uh, on the board, working for HCAM longer than I have. So now that he's moved out, I am now the oldest, well, the longest working person here at HCAM. <laughs> so, um, and as I said, when things were first being started, Mike had done a lot of experience. Uh, um, running a small business and you know as a mentor to me he, it was really valuable so I so I looked around and the staff looked around we talked about you know um, who we were going to recognize this year and this person is also a person who has been involved with HCAM before HCAM was even HCAM does anybody remember what HCAM was called before yep Hop TV. Hop TV. That's right. So when I first moved to town, I was a volunteer at Hop TV. And um, they had a few series that they had going for a long time. And uh, the show that I really liked and I glommed onto was all about Hopkinton because I thought it was a great name. But there's a person who was doing a different series and um, has done an amazing volume with such a personality that is very open, very engaging, and just really... You know, you know that guy who would like paint the pictures with all the afro, the fuzzy hair? Robert, uh, yeah, yeah, you know? This person is just so serene and um, so nice. Let me tell you how nice this person is. When I had to move this meeting back a week, this person responded to my email and thanked me for being so patient with the crew members. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, that is just so sweet. And that is what this person is. And even after she retired, she is still making shows and still loving HCAM. And I would like to tell you how many shows she's worked on, but I have no idea. It's so many. So the Michael J. Prade Award for 2016 goes to our own Mary McLeod. <laughs> Did you recognize that? Who was that? You don't know who that was? Who? That was uh, Rose Lavelle. That was from your Woodville Remembers show. <laughs> that thing, that opening. And she started off with a thank you, Mary, and I want to leave that right now. All right. All right. All right. I, got, I actually have a, um, a little bonus thing in here, and I am man enough to uh, just step up and take the beating because when they're right, they're right. There have been a couple of people who there was a little glitch, maybe a little problem, and have never let me forget it for several years. Um, when I was just starting in HCAM and was very disorganized and teaching the workshops, there may have been a couple people who inadvertently did not get their certificates of completion. And so um, as Michael Prate's final job as president of HCAM, 
Uh, he signed the certificates for John Ritz and his son Andy. So if you guys can come on up Yay. and publicly say, sorry it took so long. I'm glad to finally get them to you. Can we make sure we have a picture of this? You're a fit. Well, <laughs> you've always. <laughs> All right, come on over here, guys. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> So there's one other award for producer of the year, and I've been holding off because he was going to try to get here by 7.30, but he also has a busy schedule. I had another meeting until about 7.30. But what I'm going to do is make sure that they see a little video of this so um, they get it. The third producer of the year award um, for this year goes to a person who uh, I've been working with closely over the past four years, um, growing our presence in the Hopkinton Middle School. It was the first school that I targeted to uh, bring HCAM into. And he has always been extremely supportive of me um, and finding me space and working with my schedule. And if I needed something, um, you know, he would, he would really make it happen. And the, I think that the program really works. The reason I chose the middle school was because they have, a right, they have home room. High, the high school doesn't have home room. So when I first went in there and was running an after school TV club, I had my first group of kids and we met in the library. And I said, okay guys, this is TV, we can do anything. What do you want to do? And they kind of like went back and forth. <clears throat> and the consensus was, let's do zombies versus ninjas in the middle school hallways. <laughs> and I said, we can do that. That will, be, that will be a lot of fun and that will be great. And what we will do is we will make a little movie like that and we will put it up on our website and some people will see it. Or we could do morning video announcements that every single pair of middle school eyes is going to see and you'll all be famous. And they went, whoa, let's do announcements. <laughs> so we've been doing it ever since and they are. One of my favorite moments because, you know, um, it's, it's a geeky, it's a geeky club, you know? And one of my favorite moments was we were getting ready to do the lip dub, and we had the camera on a track that we were pulling through, and these, these girls were walking by, and there was a kid sitting there, and she goes, hey, I saw you, you were on the morning announcements today. And he turned bright red, and it was just, it was great to watch. So, um, so I am really, you know, and when I, when I first started it, my goal is to not just have you know a babysitting club and we play around with cameras I really want to speak into the middle school community um, and make a difference so um, so he's been very supportive of that so this producer because we're, we're achieving that so so this award uh, this year is going to the middle school principal Alan Keller If he shows up, we'll give him the award. Well done, thanks. Um, and then, uh, if not, oh, we'll make either way. I'll make sure that he sees the video. All right. And that, guys, in 44 minutes is our entire thing. I just have a couple of uh, closing things. May we have the house lights, please? Um, all right. So I'm going to get to a couple closing things with some stations. But before we do that. Does anybody have any comments or questions for you know either me or for the board uh, on anything? Okay. All right. So now we're going to break up. Courtney, could you please grab the little plastic tray out of the fridge and put it on the on the table there? We have a few different stations that you can go and visit. So the first one is the Italian dessert station. <laughs> so that's over there behind the blue curtain, and please feel free to, uh, to grab anything that you want. The actual means will be behind me. Yeah. The next station with the laptop there, that, that laptop is set up to where you can sign up for um, the ways that we communicate with you. Remember, one of our major focuses this year is going to be promoting what we do and reaching out into new um, audiences. So, so my staff does a couple of things that are terrific. Every single day, our website sends out an email called the 
daily news updates. And anything that was posted on our website for news, video or text, goes out in that email. And it goes out, I think, seven o'clock in the morning. So um, if you wanted to sign up for that and just kind of see like what's happening, that's a great thing. And Tom does a great job um, doing that. The second thing is the um, HCAM Insider. So Courtney does a video version which goes into HCAM News and plays on our website and plays on our channel. But she also does um, an email. And that goes out on Fridays and it tells you everything that's brand new, never played before, on the following week. So, and then the third thing is the backstage at HCAM, which the author of that gets a lot of really good comments on, um, on how that goes. People say they laugh at it, people say they really enjoy seeing it. So, um, so he is trying hard not to get us well ahead, but he really appreciates that. And that one is just me keeping you up to date on things that are going on. And I think you all must be on it or else you wouldn't be here, because that was how I was inviting people. So, so if you want to sign up for those things, if you're not on them, you're definitely welcome to. Skipping over the, the big TV, there's a camera in the corner. And the camera in the corner, last year, we uh, had people answer the question, I love HCAM because. This year, we're having them answer a different question. And um, it's written on there, and it says, I volunteer at HCAM because. So, you know, we're thinking about if we get some of those, we'll grab some and put a nice little 30 second promo advertising our free production workshops. So, um, so when pe people can see that and say, oh, that's really cool. So many people, you know, every time we have Wake Up Smell the Poetry, when I'm here, somebody comes in and says, wow, I never knew we had this here. This is like really kind of cool. So we're always trying to uh, reach out into the community and that's a way to do it. And now the last is the swag table right there. So everybody who RSVP'd, even Declan, because Declan, you RSVP'd for the original one. So we got your name on a bag for this one. It's your swag bag. So at the Academy Awards, you go, you know, all the, the people who win, they get these like cars and whatever, <laughs> fur coats and stuff like that. Yeah, it's, not, it's not like that here. <clears throat> but you're all the members of H Camp, so you all get a swag bag. Okay? And it's just like some, some little things in there, um, some little snacks and stuff. Also, there are a couple of business cards. We call them handout cards. I'm just explaining this for a couple of things. We have business cards. We call, call them the handout cards, okay? It just tells how to connect with us, where to find us. So it's just a nice thing to have around, maybe pass off to somebody in the community. Oh, have you heard about HCAM? It's a cool place, that kind of thing. There's also a larger card in there um, with, a, with a new thing. It's not a new thing, but it's a cool thing just for you guys. Nobody else knows about this, okay? It's a Facebook Frenzy Fridays. And you can read about it, but it's a lot of fun, and I hope that uh, you get involved. And then the last thing is there's an envelope in there, okay? We are really blessed that we have had very good support from our community. I've trained over 150 people by now, um, and the, uh, the government structure has been very supportive of us, making sure that we have funding. And the third leg of that tripod is the business community, and we have some really great underwriters. And I call them great because they love this community like HCAM loves this community. We exist just to connect our community. Hi, Alan. Everybody knows something <laughs> you don't. Have a seat. <laughs> um, uh, so like they really support our community. You know, we don't advertise. We don't say they have a sale. Please go visit them. You know, we just say this is who they are and they like our community and they like what we do for our community and um, that's why they support us. So we're very grateful for that. We have eight super um, underwriters. Some of the underwriters um, are appropriate for what's inside the little envelope and some of them are not. So Greg, hope you don't mind, I'm gonna mention to you. What's inside the envelope would not go very far at Blackstone Valley Wealth Management, okay? <laughs> so, so, all, so the underwriters are, are pictured on the envelope because we wanted to really value and appreciate them. And inside the envelope to underwriters that it is appropriate for is a gift card. 
Now, the one thing I, did, I have to tell you, because I didn't put it in there, but it's a $50 gift card. Um, if you have any trouble with it, I have all the receipts, but you know, whenever I buy a gift card, they always say, well, here's the receipt just in case you have trouble, and I never do. But if you do, I have them. But other than that, you should be good to go. Running on the big TV in the background um, are a couple of things. One is, it's 10 pages long. One is testimonials, people who have said nice things to us, uh, comments over the past year. And then there are some, um, some excerpts from the survey. So when we said, oh, you know, what's your favorite show? What would you like to see? And uh, uh, how, how, do you, how do you think we're doing? That was the third one. So I kind of grouped all those together and put those on there too. So as you're mixing around eating the Italian desserts, um, you can kind of like check that out too. And I hope you stop by the camera and say uh, why you volunteer. Yeah, so, all right, so I'm going to do this, okay? I hope you guys don't mind. Just bear with you for a minute, okay? So, show, come on up. That way I don't have to do anything else. So, so one of the producer of the year awards um, goes to a person that I've been working with for several years. Um, and when I first started uh, trying to reach into the school systems at the uh, direction of the board, I um, chose the middle school because uh, they have homeroom and I could get into every classroom and uh, my kids would be famous. So in my time there, um, I have had really great support. Everybody is very enthusiastic to support the kids, to be part of HMS TV. Um, and uh, we were really gracious to have been given really nice space there. and. Um, even when I asked to change the day uh, of when we show it, it's been not a problem at all. So, um, so the final uh, award for producer of the year this year goes to Alan Keller, middle school principal. guys that's it we're all done so please visit the stations and uh mingle for a couple minutes thank you Jim. i volunteer at hcam because i believe in community i believe in hcam and what it does for our community it is the center it is a safe place for people to go and see what is available for them within our community and the people who work here are just so wonderful. They're wonderful, they're creative, kind, loving people to all of us in Hopkinton. Thank you. I volunteer at H Camp because six, seven years ago, with a teen, new teenage son, it was something we could do together, and we did it with another mother and son. Um, my son's now in college and will still occasionally volunteer with HCAM. The other mother's son actually has gone on to be in film school, and now I co-host a show here. Um, HCAM is a great place and a great place for the community. I volunteered at HCAM because it is so much fun to get up there and transmit my whatever show it is I'm putting on for the kids, and maybe some grown-ups are watching too. I think HCAM is an awesome thing that we have in our community that tells the news, it tells programming, keeps us together, keeps us informed. Thank you so much HCAM. I volunteer at HCAM because I enjoy preserving what's great about Hopkinton and showing it to more people. Plus I get to play with a lot of really cool equipment. I volunteer at HCAM because it keeps me connected with the great community we all live in. Hi, I'm Denise Antaki and I volunteer at HCAM because it keeps me out of trouble, real trouble and for the good snacks they offer. I volunteer at HCAM because I love capturing the vibrant community of Hopkinson alongside a great crew of people. Hi, I'm Mary Arnott. I've been an HCAM volunteer for over 10 years now. I love the people, the shows, the community involvement. So I encourage you to get out, think of ideas, and come on down and join us. 